I first got involved with Dress for Success Oregon about eight years ago. At first, it started small with volunteering and learning more about their mission, but then my involvement grew. So through all of that, I got to see firsthand the powerful impact Dress for Success has on the lives of women. And that was really motivating and inspiring. It got me thinking about what else I could personally do and what Bank of America could do to help even more. So I was able to go deeper and began exposing my friends and family to the Dress mission. And it's been wonderful to see so many new supporters lock arms with me around this cause. And at Bank of America, many of my colleagues have joined the Dress cause too. We've had suit drives, taught financial literacy, helped open the Career Center, mentored clients, and we regularly volunteer throughout the year. Particularly in these divisive times and given all the barriers that women regularly encounter in life and their career trajectories, the concept of women supporting women is absolutely critical in my view. Meeting the clients that Dress is helping and hearing their stories about how much they've had to overcome is so inspiring. It really keeps me motivated to do what I can to shine a light on Dress's good work. I'm extremely honored and grateful to receive this Athena Award tonight and to be in the company of the three other esteemed honorees, all women I greatly admire, makes it all the more special. When I think about Dress for Success's vision of a world where women do not live in poverty, are treated with dignity and respect, and are strengthening their families and shaping their communities, I mean, who wouldn't want to be a part of supporting that mission?